How to Take Care of a Chorky Puppy Are you looking for an adorable tiny puppy? Chorkies are a designer breed of dog that is a cross between a Chihuahua and Yorkshire Terrier. These very small dogs have wonderful personalities, are very affectionate, and will love to curl up in your lap. They do have lots of energy though, so exercise and proper care are needed. Taking care of a Chorky puppy isn't all that different from taking care of other breeds, but there are some special tips for raising a Chorky. Part 1 Feeding and Grooming Your Chorky Puppy 1. Purchase a high-quality puppy food for small breed dogs. Look for a puppy food with 25-30% protein coming from meat or meat byproducts. There is some debate about whether dry or canned puppy food is better. Dry food may help remove tartar from teeth. Dry and canned food are both nutritious, so choose whatever your dog prefers. Be cautious when choosing cheaper or generic brands of dog food. They may use lower quality ingredients that might not give enough nutrition to your puppy. Some good brands of puppy food are Instinct and Blue Wilderness. You can also ask your veterinarian for food recommendations. 2. Learn how much food to give your chorky puppy. Refer to the specific instructions on the food package. It will probably provide you with a daily amount, so divide that number by 3. This will tell you how much food you should give at each feeding. Avoid giving your puppy any table scraps. You should not get your dog in the habit of eating human food on a regular basis. 3. Establish a feeding routine. Chorky puppies grow quickly and need to be fed more often than adult dogs. Feed your puppy three times a day. Make sure that feedings are at the same time and in the same place every day. Choose an area where your puppy won't be disturbed. You can supplement your dog's diet with treats, but veterinarians say that these shouldn't make up any more than 10% of your dog's daily diet. 4. Brush and bathe your chorky puppy regularly. You'll need puppy shampoo, conditioner, a towel, and treats. Run warm water into the tub. Give her a treat when you put her in the tub so she enjoys bath time. Slowly and gently, massage shampoo into her fur. Rinse with warm water. Then, condition and rinse. Dry her off and offer a few more treats. Brush the puppy daily and after baths to prevent mats and tangles. Wash your puppy once every week or two. Remain calm and speak softly while grooming your puppy. This will put her at ease. 5. Trim your chorky puppy's hair. Take a pair of grooming scissors and trim the hair around your puppy's nails, eyes, and ears. Longer hair inside the ears can make chorkies prone to ear infections, so keep the hair short. Make sure that hair hasn't matted down around the puppy's toes. When this happens, hair can wrap around the nails and cause them to become ingrown. This can be very painful for the chorky. Part 2 Training and Socializing Your Chorky Puppy 1. Housebreak Your Chorky Puppy Start by establishing a routine. Take your puppy outside to the same general area every morning, around the same time. Once she's done her business, reward her with a small treat. This positive reinforcement will encourage her to go outside. On the other hand, never rub your your dog's face in an accident. She will not understand why you are doing this. Luckily, training in general is very successful with Chorkies. They are smart dogs eager to learn. 2. Teach your Chorky simple commands. Puppies should know the basics, sit, stay, and lie down. For example, teaching your dog to sit and stay by a door can be very simple. Tell your puppy to sit, stay by the door. When she does this, praise her. Open the door and let her outside. That is her reward. If she gets up as you open the door, close it and try again. Don't let her outside until she has followed the command. Never punish a dog for refusing a command since dogs don't understand punishment. They will respond to positive reinforcement when they do a task correctly. 3. Get your Chorky Puppy Regular Exercise Chorkies are energetic dogs, so go for long daily walks or to the dog park. A puppy who gets lots of exercise and play will be calmer and more well-behaved in general, don't forget that play counts as exercise. Chorkies love toys and games of fetch. Be sure to use balls and toys designed for small breeds. If you do take your dog to a dog park, make sure there is a special area for small breeds. 4. Pay attention to your dog's safety at all times. Chorkies are very small breed dogs and need special attention while playing or exercising. 
Always keep your puppy properly leashed and collared at all times when on a walk. For example, they can sometimes be aggressive if approached by another dog or person. So, make sure to walk your puppy along a quiet route. If your puppy pulls on the leash during walks, use a walking harness. 5. Socialize your puppy. Give your chorky puppy the chance to meet lots of new people, not just people within the household. This will give her the experience of dealing with strangers in new places. Let your dog walk around and explore the new people and surroundings. If she is afraid, don't rush to pick her up or remove her. Let her adjust. Don't take your puppy out too much before she gets all her vaccinations, usually around 15 or 16 weeks old. 6. Prevent Small Dog Syndrome To avoid bad behaviors associated with small dog syndrome, train your chorky. Regularly walk her on a leash, let her interact with other dogs, teach commands like sit or stay, and let her walk places, don't always carry her. This will teach her discipline and good behavior. Small dog syndrome is an attitude your chorky may develop. She may think and act like she's the boss, jumping up on people or nipping, growling, begging for food, etc. Part 3 Understanding Chorky Health and Preventative Care 1. Get your chorky puppy vaccinated. Your puppy will need several vaccines before she turns a year. Generally, puppies need to be vaccinated at 5 weeks, 6 weeks, 9 weeks, 12 weeks, and 15 weeks old. Your puppy should get core vaccines that include distemper, canine adenovirus, 2, hepatitis and respiratory disease, canine parvovirus, 2, and rabies. Talk with your veterinarian about giving your puppy non-core vaccines. After your chorky has gotten all of her shots as a puppy, she'll need to see the veterinarian at least once a year. She may occasionally need to get booster shots. 2. Get your puppy dewormed. Puppies are likely to get worms several times while growing up. Ask your vet about preventative worming when your chorky is two to three weeks old. The veterinarian can give your puppy medication by mouth or give her a shot to kill any parasites. You'll need to follow up in a couple of weeks to get another dose of medication. This will kill any parasites that hatched. Recognize signs of worms in your puppy. If you notice your puppy has diarrhea or is vomiting, coughing, chewing or licking under her tail, is short of breath, or losing weight take a stool sample to the vet. Get your puppy treated for worms again. 3. Recognize hypoglycemia in Chorkies. They're liable to have hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar. Know that Chorkies are susceptible to hypoglycemia. If so, you may notice decreased appetite, low energy, anxiety and restlessness, tremors, shivering, or confusion when doing normal things. If you notice your Chorky puppy acting strangely, take her to the vet as quickly as possible. 4. Watch for signs of tracheal collapse. This happens when your dog's airway constricts or collapses. You may notice a dry honking cough, difficulty breathing, repeated, unsuccessful, attempts at vomiting, rapid breathing sounds, and loss of consciousness. If your Chorky experiences any of these symptoms, take her to a vet immediately. Tracheal collapse usually happens because of too much exercise, heat, or excitement. If your dog is overweight, she's also at risk for this problem. 5. Notice any injuries, especially a dislocated kneecap. Chorky dogs are prone to dislocated kneecaps, patellar subluxation. This is caused by genetics or by injuries. You may notice your puppy continually limping in her hind leg, occasionally limping in lameness, or sudden lameness. Take your puppy to the vet, since only a vet can diagnose and treat this problem. Normally, a dog will only feel pain when the kneecap slides out of place, but not after. 6. Consider having your puppy neutered. There are several reasons for neutering your puppy. The main reason being to prevent your puppy from reproducing. There are pros and cons to this. For example, neutering prevents testicular cancer and prostrate problems in your dog. It may also reduce testosterone-related behavior problems. But, your dog may grow taller and gain more weight if neutered at an early age. Your puppy might also develop hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, and begin inappropriate mounting. Talk over your options with your vet when making the decision to neuter or not. 7. Think about getting your puppy microchipped. Millions of puppies are lost every year. Microchipping your puppy may make it easier to find her if she should get lost. 
your vet will use a needle to insert a tiny chip behind her shoulder blades. It's rare, but microchipping can cause tumors near the site of the injection. Understand that the microchip is useful only when someone scans your lost pet, such as at a shelter. You must also have current contact information submitted in order for your pet to be returned to you. If you move or change phone numbers, submit the new information. Warnings Never feed your pet any of the following human foods, chocolate, coffee, caffeine, alcohol, avocados, macadamia nuts, grapes and raisins, yeast dough, raw and undercooked meat, eggs, bones, xylitol, onions, garlic, chives, milk, or salt.